Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Um, I first just want to say that it's really echoing here because I'm in my garage, obviously. Um, but yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my bunnies. So technically I only have one bunny, but we do have two bunnies and then only one of them is mine, but I do take care of both of them. So I just thought I'd show you both of them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but before we get started, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed, comment down below any video ideas because I respond to all of them. And make sure you subscribe if you're not already, but without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I have a list on my phone of things that I want to cover. So the first thing that I just want to put out there is just a little disclaimer. Um, it's not really a disclaimer. I don't want any hate on this video because I know a lot of people get hate for like what they put their bunnies in, what they feed them. I know there's a lot of different ways and a lot of people have a different way of doing things just like with everything in life. Um, but I just want to make sure that we have that all cleared. I've done some research and from what I found are some like highly subscribed people offline so they, I mean online like YouTubers so I just took advice from them um, but if you have any constructive criticism that you want to leave in the comments I will gladly take that um, and any tips or tricks um, will be highly appreciated. But yeah, with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's just get on to showing you the cutest boys. Also, I call them the cutest boys or the two goodest boys. I don't know. But yeah, let's go. Okay, so I have the bunny right here in my hands. Put them back there so I can actually see myself. Anyway, so this is what my bunny looks like. He's so cute. Um, he is a boy and his name is Waffle. Um, I just named him Waffle because he's like brown and he kind of looks like a waffle. I don't know. I just love that name. Um, and he is a Holland. Oh my goodness. The other bunny is going crazy. He is a Holland Lop bunny. So his ears are droopy as you can see. Um, he is super chill. He's definitely... I don't know if I said it already, but he's a boy. Um, he is like probably, um, I would say like four months old. Cause when we got him, he was like a month old or something. I don't really know. But we got him like maybe two months ago. So maybe he's three months. I don't know, but he's so small. He looks so cute. Hi, say hi. Um, but yeah. He is super chill, he loves to be held, he loves to cuddle, um, he loves to run around, and he is just such a good bunny, so I just love him so much. Um, yeah, so now I will show you the other one, but just so you guys know, this one is my very own, so I take care of him, I named him, um, I buy stuff for him, and yeah. Um, and then the other one that I'm going to show you is our families because when we bought this little guy, we thought he needed a friend and they also said that they, they do, they live better with a friend. So this, they are, are actually from the same litter. So they're brothers like by blood. Um, but yeah, I'll go get him. He's kind of mad that I took his brother. Oh yeah. He's really mad. Let me go get him. <laughs> Okay, so I have the other bunny right here. And as you can see, he's a little bit more jumpy, so he might jump out of my hands. Um, but he is a Holland Lop, as I said, from the same litter. My goodness. He is white, and he's super big. Woo! He's gonna go crazy. Um, his name is Stewie, and they told us that he was a boy, but we're pretty sure that it's a girl because she's really big. She's way bigger than Waffle, and she's also more aggressive. Like, she'll just jump out of your hands, and she does not like being held, um, but yeah, still super cute. Also, this is our family bunny, and my dad named him Stewie, so we still think he's a boy, but we don't know for sure yet. But yeah, this is just Waffle's other brother. 
Okay, now I'm just going to go over. Sorry if it's really loud. They are going crazy. <laughs> I need to let them out. I will show you guys when I do that. But I'm gonna go over some of the stuff that we have for them, like toys, um, um, stuff that goes in their cage, their food, um, and stuff like that. So let's start off with their toys. So I just keep it in this little basket, all organized and cute. So the first toy is this cute little, like, there's also so much construction outside, I'm so sorry. But this first toy is like this cute little carrot that they like to chew on. It's pet friendly wood. Um, and then this toy, as you can tell, they are obsessed with. I need to get a new one. But it's just a little wooden toy that has a ball. They like to like, pretend this is their mouth. They like to pick it up and throw it. So it's super cute. Um, next, there's like these little different shaped blocks. Also, there's a lot of hair on the stuff because they shed a lot and yeah. Anyway, this has holes in them because it used to be like a really cool like fixture thing, but then they broke it. So now they're just like chewing on these little like blocks in a way. But I only give those to them when I'm watching them because I don't want them to choke or anything. <laughs> and then I have this little teether block toy. They chew on it to help their molars and their teeth. And they also really enjoy that toy. You can also find a lot of toys off Amazon that are really good. I'm going to get them some eventually. But next we have is combs or like grooming tools. So I just have this first little brush. Oh my gosh. So many things are happening. Oh my god. This little brush is actually from the pet store in the bunny section. So the bristles are super soft and I only use it on the bunnies. Like I wouldn't use it on the dog or anything like that. Um... Yeah, I also clean it after like every each bunny, but as you can see, it's really hairy. And then I just um, gave in one of my own hair brushes, and this just really helps to make it smooth and go in a direction. So now I only use this on them. I don't use it on my hair because obviously that would be gross. Um, but yeah. And then another thing that I would highly recommend to get them is a little Heidi house. This is just somewhere where they can go in if they're scared or if they're cold or anything like that, especially if you have them outside during the winter months and all of that. You want to make sure that they are like covered so that they're not getting snow in their cage. But yeah, this is a really good option. Um, we had this in our old cage, but now we have a cage that has like a huge hidey house in the top, so we don't really use that anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the cage. Also, just so you know, I am going to clean the cage today. That's why it looks terrible. Okay, hi guys. I'm filming on my phone right now, but I just wanted to show you guys that I did clean the cage. And it was today, because I was wearing this shirt in the video, and it's the same day, because now it's like four o'clock, and I filmed that at like 11. Anyway, yeah, I will show you that I cleaned the cage. Okay, so I cleaned the cage. As you can see, it looks really nice down there. Up in here, clean that all out. And yeah, they are just little happy campers, huh? Oh. And there's the white one, just chilling in there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I did actually clean it. So that's what it looks like when it's clean. Now get on to the rest of the video. But I thought I would do this video before then so I could get it up. I am going to clean the cage very, very, very soon. Like, probably after I film this video. I know I probably should do it before, but I think it's fine. So, yeah. Okay, and this is the food that we give them. It is from IFA, and it is um, alpha, alpha pellets when they're babies. Um they told us that we should feed them this so that's what we got them and then right behind it is our very first cage that we had for them like i was saying about one of these cages in the winter you probably should have something to go on top of it and the heidi house we put in here and they really enjoyed but we don't use this anymore and we also have them in the garage because it's getting colder where i live so they need to be more warm but if you come over here, this is the cage that we have for them now. We also have like a little platform. It doesn't come with the cage, but I'll try and link all this stuff down below. 
Also, this we just got off Amazon because we didn't want them peeing and pooping and stuff on the floor, like the garage floor. So, yeah. And then we just have over here this little feeder. And here they are. And also these latches are really, really good. Like they are super secure if you're ever wondering about that. And then in here, there's a little ladder and there is like little pegs that go on this ladder just to help them get up. But my bunny has been like hurting his bottom lip because he's been chewing on that. So we took them off and it's really helped him. And they like to bring like there's hay Back there, there's a bunch of hay up in here. Um, they love to bring it down and just play with it, which is super fun. There's also pull-out trays in both. And then up here is like the big caddy house like I was talking about. As you can see, there is a lot of poop because I clean it out every week. And then that thing just opens and closes. And then there's a little, oh my goodness, a little Velcro thing. If you have them outside and it's raining, we did have this outside and this was very helpful when it was raining. So we really enjoy that. All right guys, so now that I've showed you all about them and just some fun stuff, I will take them outside. And also just so you know, because a lot of people, um, I know that you're supposed to let your bunny out of their cage if they are caged for a long time. So I do that every day. They're out for at least three hours. Um, sometimes more in the backyard. It's fully fenced and they love it so much. So as you will see in a few videos, not in videos, in a few like, when I take them out there, you will see in like a cool little montage that I'm gonna do with them. But yeah, I'm gonna take them out back and I will show you what they do and how much they love it.
guys. So, I am not in my room because when I was, well, I got some clips of them outside, which you guys should have already saw. They're super cute, I know. Um, anyway, yeah, but then it started storming and all of our neighbors around us have dirt in their backyards and stuff, so it was a huge dirt storm. Storm, anyway. Yeah, so now they are back in their cage and I usually let them out for longer, but today I couldn't because it started storming and raining and stuff and I didn't want them to be outside in that because nobody wants to be outside during that. Anyway, yeah. So I wanted to show you guys something because I want you guys to guess when my birthday is. So today, I'll show you this. Okay, so I have like this cute little thing. I hang up all my glasses like that. Um, anyway, but so today is November 6th. It's a Friday that I'm filming this. And my birthday is in nine days, okay? So, whoever guesses my birthday in the comments, who's ever first, I will shout them out. Actually, the first, let's do three people that guess my birthday right, I will give them a shout out. You only have to guess what day it is. So that means it is November something. You don't have to say like the year, just November blank. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. I don't know why, but I am. Yeah, okay, so that is basically all that I do with my bunnies and stuff. Um, I might do a like DIY bunny toys if any of you guys wanna see that. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully it was not too long and not too short. Um, but yeah, don't forget to comment when you think my birthday is. If you need to know how many days it's in, go back and look what I just barely did, showed you. Anyway, yeah, I need to clean my room and stuff, but that is the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.